नमस्ते सत्याकाल एंड अन्यवास माय नेम इज रिशाल पांडे छत्री आई एम अ जी के एस अंडर ग्रैड स्कॉलर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड आई एम करेंटली इन साउथ कोरिया डूइंग माय लैंग्वेज ट्रेनिंग कोरियन लैंग्वेज ट्रेनिंग एट सनमोन यूनिवर्सिटी सो थ्रू दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द अपोज स्टाइल प्रोसेस वट एग्जैक्टली इज द अपोज स्टाइल प्रोसेस विद द कॉन्टेक्स इन इंडिया what documents to oppose style with from whom to oppose style whether to oppose style uh, photocopies or whether to oppose style the original documents and how much time does oppose style take and what exactly is oppose style so as you are aware that uh, through my previous videos that i am doing undergrad series to help undergrad scholars who want to apply to south korea through the global korea scholarship so the guidelines for the next global korea scholarship will be out very soon that is uh, around 10 days from now it will be out between second week of september to the third week of september so i hope you guys are preparing well and if you haven't watched my video about what are the things that you need to prepare in advance please go and check out the previous video so now talking about oppose style what exactly is oppose style so an oppose style is a stamp on a document which authenticates that the document is valid in another country for example let's take uh, birth certificate the birth certificate that is issued in india might not be valid in south korea or let's say united states of america but if the oppose if the document has been oppose styled then the document will be valid in another country so an oppose style is an authentication that a document which is issued in one country is valid in another country and the documents that are oppose style is accepted in 116 countries worldwide so that was it about oppose style so the next question that i get is whether to oppose style the documents on the original or the photocopied documents so let me explain this to you you need to oppose style your documents in the photocopies colored photocopies and not the original ones because let's take my example last year when i was applying i first oppose style on the original documents but i realized that i had to oppose style on the photocopied documents because when i send my documents to the universities my university told me that where is the original stamp of the oppose style the physical stamp and not the photocopied oppose style stamp so that is it you need to oppose style on your photocopied documents and not on the original ones because universities 90% of the time they'll be looking for physical copies of the oppose style sticker on your documents so that was it you need to oppose style on colored photocopies and not on the original ones last year i had oppose style on the original ones but the university did not accept it and and, and i had to oppose style the documents once again on the photo colored photocopies so the next thing is what is the oppose style process whether you need to notarize or whether you need to do something you need to go to the lawyer so talking in context of india the oppose style process is as such first number 1 the document has to be attested by the sdm sdm is the sub divisional magistrate so first one is the document has to be attested by the sub divisional magistrate okay and the number 2 is the document has to be notarized the document has to be notarized number 1 sdm attestation number 2 notarization and number 3 which is the final step is the document has to be processed to the ministry of external affairs and it has to get a stamp of the officer of the ministry of external affairs and after that the document gets an oppose styled uh sticker oppose style sticker that's the third step so number 1 sdm attestation number 2 notary and number 3 the ministry of external affairs attestation after that the oppose style sticker so 
if you want to do all this process by yourself it will take you a lot of time and to get and if you live far away from new delhi then to get to the ministry of external affairs will be a difficult thing and this process usually takes around one month to two months if you do it on your own that's why i'd like to suggest you an agency through which you can oppose style your documents last year i did my oppose stylization through this agency itself and it took just four documents for me and it took just three days for me to receive the four documents so this agency is very reliable very trustworthy and the agency name is pcc attestation services i'll put their uh, details in the description below please check them out and i suggest you to do your apostillation through them so why do apostillation through them three reasons number one less time if you live in delhi or nearby regions you'll get your op documents apostilled in just two days because this agency just takes two days for the documents to be apostilled and for them to courier your documents to your regions it will depend upon how far you live from delhi but it usually takes just uh, two days for apostillation plus two to three days for you to receive your documents so number one reason less time number two is affordability if you have more documents to apostille they'll give discount for you and it is affordable and the third one which i believe personally is the most important one is they're reliable and trustful like i've done my apostillation through them my friends have done to them and they are very reliable and trustworthy and when it comes to documents and the whole scholarship procedure this thing is very important that the agency has to be reliable and trustful so the the their uh, details will be there in the description please check them out and please contact them for your apostillation so the next topic is what documents should you apostille so number 1 is mark sheets or the transcripts class 10 mark sheet class 11 mark sheet and class 12 mark sheets or transcripts actually transcripts and mark sheets are same in india so class 10 11 and 12 transcripts or mark sheet number 2 the graduation certificate so you might be asking me what is graduation certificate because cbsc has stopped issue has started to not issue a graduation certificate from last year onwards so what you need to do is you need to get a document from your school or uh, stating that you have graduated from the institution with this subjects in this particular year and your name your details should be mentioned there so that is a graduation certificate which you need to get from your school if the board that is cbsc or state board or icsc isc doesn't provide you with that number 3 is uh you don't need to apostille these documents if you are sub submitting your passport copies of you and your parents so if you don't have your passports and if your parents don't have passports then you need to apostille your birth certificate and your parents birth certificate both your uh, father and mother's birth certificate if they don't have birth certificate you need to apostille their voter id please keep in mind that pan card and aadhar card will not be accepted as citizenship proof so you need to have the uh voter ids or their birth certificates uh last year from last year onwards this uh, rule was announced that this uh this voter ids will not be accept uh, sorry only voter ids and birth certificates will be accepted and you know uh aadhar cards will not be accepted and also like many were asking me whether for the first round you need to get uh apostille done or no so for university tag you need to apostille of course and for embassy tag last year the embassy was a bit lenient because uh nid all of a sudden started asking for apostille documents but i'm not sure from this year because this year for a gks graduate for for gks graduate who all applied to embassy tag they wanted apostille documents so you need to apostille your documents to be on the safer side so that there is no rush at the last moment and how much ever you have prepared to be in the cohort of gk scholars 2023 will be successful so that is my advice 
so that was it for today's video if you like the video please subscribe please uh, follow my channel and if you have any queries on gks please dm me on instagram or comment down below i might take some time to reply but i will certainly reply but please don't dm me uh, queries such as instagram i get a lot of queries bhaiya please help me on my application guide bhaiya can i apply through gks after class 10 please research a lot of about gks watch a lot of videos and then come to me and please directly ask me your questions don't send me a message at first saying that can i ask you a question you will not get a reply from me saying yes you can ask a question so directly ask your queries so that i can directly reply to you so that was it about today's video thank you guys for watching today's video and if this uh, video was informative please share to your friends who are applying for gks as well thank you so much kamsa amida